when my heart was around I knew it was gold Someone could change it Like an alchemist of old You came along You gave my heart birth Now our love's more precious Than anything on earth Transformation Keep this up, you're headed for the crusher! It's with all the dead cars! Why don't you just give them a decent burial or something? We could do that, but what we're gonna do is recycle them. Alright. Sounds a little better. Yeah, what we do is we take these crushed car bodies and feed them to the shredder. Yay. And on average, the shredder eats about 180 cars an hour. That rain, aren't you going to run out of cars pretty fast? No, on average, we throw away about 10 million cars a year in the United States. 10 million cars a year? That is insane. After the steel is shredded, it goes up this conveyor belt into the Cascader. There, all the dirt and fluff is separated from the shredded steel. After that, it goes down into the separator where all the non-metal parts are separated from the shredded steel. Then it follows that conveyor belt up into the melt shop. So this is what feeds the steel mill? Yeah, that and that. Hey. Hey, Bill. Hey, Billy. Did you get your car fixed? Not really. Do you have any idea what that is? Not really. Me neither. It just fell out of my engine. Uh-oh. Time for the junkyard. Again! Again. Ah, the crusher! Hey, don't worry about it. Do you want an English muffin? Yes, please. Anxiety and despair makes me hungry. You people are always eating so much. I came here to jam with you guys. Okay, okay. Just let me feed the belly and then we'll go. Feed me! Oh, hey, what happened? Hey, the light's back on. Lori, you... Blew out the circuit breaker with a toaster. Me? Come on, me? It never happened before. Yes, please, just turn the toaster off, please. It's off, it's off. Ow. Oh, see if I can find the circuit breaker over here. Yeah. It's behind some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, there that is a lot better. All right, look, how much power are we using in here anyway? Oh, the toaster says 1,000 watts. We've got the lights, the refrigerator, the PA, the synthesizer. Hey, Billy, your amp uses 480 watts. And with a 15-amp circuit breaker, that would put us over the top. We are electricity hogs. I guess we just can't use the toaster and the electric guitar at the same time. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that we can't have toast and jam at the same time? Oh, AJ! <laughs> Right now, they're dropping electrodes into the bucket and using an electric arc to melt the steel. So that's electricity making all that noise out there? Yeah. Electric arc is where you make electricity jump through the air, and with this process, we create enough heat to melt the steel. 
guys must have a ridiculous electric bill. Man, you better believe it. As a matter of fact, it takes 60,000 kilowatt hours to melt all of that steel. Okay, now a kilowatt is about a thousand watts, mm -hmm. like say a toaster. Mm -hmm. So then a kilowatt hour is like running a toaster for an hour? Exactly. There's 60,000 toasters out there. Running for an hour. <laughs> it's a lot of toasters. Yeah, you better believe it. The problem we've been working on is trying to save the heat and make the energy do more. For example, if we made the arc longer inside the furnace, it'd build up more heat and be more efficient. But we had a problem of that, that heat, excess heat, burning up the inside of the furnace. So why don't you just make the inside of the furnace tougher? Well, we could do that, but we found a way to use the slag that's already in there. Slag? What's slag? Well, slag is the waste that builds up on top of the steel. And what we've done is we've added chemicals to make the slag a better insulator. Like a blanket? Exactly. But it's white hot. How can that insulate anything? Well, the arc that's in there is a lot hotter than the slag, so it's acting as an insulator. What we do here is we cook our steel to order. What he's doing is he's adding ingredients to adjust the recipe. For example, by adding more carbon to the steel to make it a bit harder. What about the wood pallet and the bags he's just throwing in there? I mean, isn't that going to mess up the recipe? No, because the steel is hot enough to burn all that up. Are you sure? Well, do you know where I could find a used one, or a rebuilt one? We don't need this one anyway. No, I'm like a cat and I can see in the dark. I think we've done our part for energy efficiency today. I personally would like to play some rock and roll. Billy, are you ready? Oh, yeah. What's wrong? What if I can't find this part for my car? If I can find it, what if I can't afford it? If I... <laughs> what if I can't get it back in my car? Ashes to ashes! And rush to rush. Hey, AJ. Why does hey, my hey, car hey, always hey. have to bust? <laughs> Another problem we've been dealing with is trying to be more efficient making the steel into the shapes that we want once we melt it down. And what we've done in the past is that we pour it into the mold, cool it down, heat it up and shape it a little, and cool it down again and move it someplace else until we have to heat it up again. That's a lot of heating and cooling. That's right. So now we've developed what we call continuous casting, where we pour the molten steel in upstairs in the melt shop that you saw earlier, and it goes to a water-cooled mold, freezes there, and it comes out solid down here, near the shape that we need. Continuous casting. So it just keeps coming through here? All day and all night, unless something breaks. we saw out in the yard that yeah. was gray? Yeah. Well, what they do is they feed that steel into this furnace right here. They heat the billet up to about 3,000 degrees, just enough to where it's not liquid, but where we can form it and shape it to the size, the correct size that we want. Whoa. Here comes one right now. These rolls are going to take the billet on down to these first few stands right here, which we call the rusters. What they do is they sort of mold the billet into the shape that we want, but it's not quite there. It has to go through a few more. What we're doing is it's squeezing the billet closer and closer to the form we want. And this stand right here does the most work. Yeah, as, I can see it's a very different shape than it was uh, behind there. Yeah. And as it leaves this, this roughing stand right here, and it's the first finishing stand, which squeezes it even more. Ah, is it still about the same temperature as it was uh, back when it came out? Oh yeah, it'll be about 3,000 degrees until it hits the cooling bed. The water that they use on the stands is primarily to keep the rolls that form the steel cool. Ah, I see. As you can see, Billy, the rolls have really picked up speed. That means we're just about at the end of the line. This is the entrance to the final resting place of the bar of steel we call the billet. Whoa! Yeah, it's no longer a billet now, it's a bar of steel. Yeah, and it's pretty darn hot, too. Oh, it's very hot. It's still about 3,000 degrees when it enters into the cooling bay. Yeah, well, I won't step on it. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. 
Now you notice that at the beginning, where we tried to build up and save all of this heat to make the steel, right. this is where we lose the heat. We, don't so, we no longer need the heat, so we're just sending it away. It's going to send back up into the atmosphere. Back up into the atmosphere. You were great. No, 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 you sounded really good. Wait a minute, a couple more songs like that, and first our album goes platinum. Then there's a stadium tour around the country. Dream on, girl. I'm still trying to get us our first paying gig. You have it. You have it in stock? You think you could give me a couple pointers on, you know, like installing it? Outstanding. Look, I'll, I'll be on the bus. I'll be right down. Did you get good news about your car? It is saved. Yeah. So... Now instead of sitting there rusting, it's going to be driving on the streets rusting. Hey, AJ, they don't let cars just sit in rust anymore. They recycle them, they melt them down, they turn them into beams and axles and new cars. Oh, so your car is going to be reincarnated. Get him out of here. No, get him reincarnated. Out, no, no, really. out. Okay. No, oh, no, whoa. Just, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm having a bad day.